There are many benefits to staying silent, but it's important to understand when you should stay silent, and when you should speak up. In this video, we will share with you 6 particular situations where it's better to remain silent, so stay tuned. If you are new around here, make sure to subscribe with notifications on, so you do not miss any of our new videos. Also, feel free to follow us on social media, links in the description box down below. Number 1. When you don't have the necessary facts. You are not entitled to your opinion, you are entitled to your informed opinion, no one is entitled to be ignorant. So basically, if there is a sensitive issue or matter, we do well to hold our tongue until we know all the facts. Number 2, when you have a feeling the words will hurt. In the middle of a heated discussion, most of us have said something that unfairly hurt someone else. Being honest with ourselves, we felt the after effects of the words before they were said, so when tempers are high being silent is best. Number 3, when it's not our place to speak. Too many people would rather be heard than hear, and this is something that can kick us in the rear in every part of life. Understanding, and being skilled in active listening, can lead to new insights, expand knowledge, and improve our relationships. Number 4, when you don't have anything to say. Just because you feel you ought to add something doesn't mean you should, instead you might support what someone else has said. It can feel awkward saying that you don't have something to add, but it is usually better than speaking for the sake of speaking. Number 5, Dim Arguments I'm not saying to always be silent to avoid conflict, however not all arguments can help both parties grow. If your friends try to tug you into some debate you don't look after, just tell them you're not interested, and remain silent. If you're already within the argument and need to resolve the conflict, just comply with afflicting them to urge it over with. Sometimes winning the argument might involve you losing, but it's fine if your goal is to resolve a conflict. Number 6. Negotiations Silence can convey a way of power, since it'll lead the opposite side to believe that you are willing to steer away than to settle for less. Say what you would like, then close your mouth, your silence shows that you simply are confident in what you've got said. Most of the people are uncomfortable with silence, and using it in negotiations may be a great way to urge what you would like. 